What's up, YouTube family? Today we're in the gunship sequel, World War II. We're doing it today with the F4U 1A variant Corsair Mark II. This plane is pretty dope, and it's pretty huge when you look at it in person through VR. I mean, I didn't expect it to be that big, but this plane is pretty big. And the speed on this plane is insane. It just keeps wanting to go faster. You, you have to slow it down, actually. That's the crazy part about this plane. Today I'm going to be doing some carrier takes off, tar carrier landings, and I was looking for some enemies, but not too many people were there. But I'm just looking on the inside, checking out the details of this plane. The way they did this game and the details on these planes is pretty awesome for what the game is. I love it, man. Today I'm going to do some carrier takes off, looking around and see what I can find. Not too many people are on the game today, so I'm just going to check it out real quick. If you're ever wondering why I never go into realistic mode, is because nobody's ever there. So you'll be there with like one person. So I always go to historic. But let's check it out. Let's go. Just looking around, checking out the beautiful... Wait, somebody hit our ship over there. That's great. So that means this one's next. I gotta get off this runway really fast. Carrier takeoffs in this game are kind of tricky. The rudder is very sensitive, so you can get this thing going sideways real quick if you're not careful. Another beautiful takeoff as always, because I got this. Nah, it's always fun, man, just taking off and just enjoying the scenery. circling around now coming in for final checking my flaps making sure they're good watching my airspeed just gonna get her nose on target landings in this game is also tricky on the carrier if you're not doing it right and to make sure my hook is down as well i have landed before and forgot to put the hook down you're not gonna stop because there are wires that you gotta catch Easy, easy. Okay, just about now you should see the wire coming up. There we go, got a nice stop. Let's see what wire we got here. I think I got a two wire. Here's a prime example of what I was talking about with too much rudder. The rudder is very sensitive. As you see, I'm sliding to the edge of the runway and just got on. Yeah, that, you gotta be very careful with the rudder on these carriers or it's gonna be over for you. I see people crash all the time. Well, I'm just leveling off and trying to get my airspeed up and 
checking out the scenery as I do. The cockpit of the F4U Corsair is super spacious. It's like so much you can do in here. The BF109, from what I've seen, is like the only one that's like super tight inside, which is cool though, because it's so tight that you feel like literally warm with the plane. This one's kind of different, because it seems more like a living room, but I love it. It's pretty dope going through the different cockpits and seeing how some are tight and some are. So I couldn't really find nobody in this round, so I just decided to form up on this guy because I just like flying in formation. It's pretty awesome in this game in VR, just flying next to somebody and trying to match their movements the best you can, keep up there with their speed, speed, etc. They're not giving you no information, so you just have to judge by sight. But this guy started doing some weird things, and that's when I noticed there was an enemy over there. But I was like, I don't care anymore. So I just didn't care if he tried to shoot at us or not. If he tried to shoot, then I'll get him. But right now, I just wanted to form up on this guy. But he's doing some really crazy basic maneuvers, man. I was like, what is he doing? So, sometimes the people try to form up on YouTube, so that's what I thought it was. But then he pulled this maneuver here. Almost hit me. I knew he was done for. Splash one. I saw the enemy didn't really try to attack us, so I was like, okay, as a guess, maybe he's just flying around, so I'm not going to be a jerk and go over there and shoot him down the other one this day. He didn't shoot at me, so. What better thing to do than to form up on a Japanese plane with an American one? So I was hoping he didn't try to run, thinking I was going to shoot him. So I saw he didn't pull any maneuvers yet, so just decided to form up on him with my AA shooting at me. Totally misjudged my speed and overshot the guy. So I went up, pulled hard, drained some of that speed, flapped down, do a roll, and come up on his side. Easy, easy, easy. I just cut the speed a little bit, trying to match his speed. Hoping he don't do something crazy, maneuver. That was pretty cool. I'm trying to match him. We're doing some bobble thing here now. I think he kind of figured out what I was trying to do here and I wasn't trying to kill him. I'm trying to turn this big boat over. My new best friend doing some pretty aggressive maneuvers here and I was wondering why he was doing this. I'm about to find out in a second. I was just trying to form up at him. I was like, why does he start turning all crazy now? And as I hit this loop here, I see two of my teammates. So I immediately started letting them, please don't shoot this guy down. He's just flying around. Kept asking through voice chat, please don't shoot this guy down. Alas, my words fell on deaf ears. Rest in peace, my friend.
We know that it's part of your master plan that we've made it all the way from Tuskegee here to Ramatelli. We are very confident in our abilities, but we ask that you give us the vision, the sight, and the speed and power to make it through this mission. All the airmen say, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Nothing's difficult. Everything's a challenge. Through adversity to, to the, the stars. stars. From the last plane to the last bullet to the last minute to the last man, we fight. 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 Fuck it, whore. The rage doesn't bother me.